Right, hello ladies and gents, I'm Sarcastic Raptor and we're playing some prehistoric kingdom, to be exact, we're playing a pre-alpha demo. I'm just gonna get right into it. Prehistoric Kingdom is a game that has been based on sort of like the JPOG like franchise. Well not actually based on like Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, but it's in like the same sort of niche of a dinosaur like themed fit uh, simulator theme park sort of game. I've already played this for a little bit and I've had this crash on me a few times so for now we're just going to get into it and I'm going to show you it through this sort of format of an already like completed park which I've built most of the things you can in the demo apologise for the noise in the background that's just my cat making some noises as she grooms herself well, what dinosaurs do we have to play with if, you, if I click on the hatchery or nursery as they like to call this you got Archosauria, which is the main clad. You get subclads. Going Celosauria at the moment. We have Gallimimus to play around with, Tyrannosaurus, and Velociraptor. We also have a few different skins for each one, which is a great addition to the game. The models uh, are absolutely fantastic as well. And also, for some dinosaurs, they, if depending on your view of like evolution and stuff like that what well, amongst your personal views you can have scaly or feather dinosaurs you can have male and female dinosaurs as well you can pick to produce for example this is the gallimimus enclosure and i'm going to produce another another triceratops and we're going to go for we already have evergreen ones so i'm going to go for crimson frill and we're going to produce one I'm going to place the selected Triceratops in this enclosure. And there you go. It's an absolutely beautiful game. You get, when you click on the actual dinosaurs, it gives you, gives you the genus and the uh, species name. And you get the mood, health, hunger, thirst, and energy requirements of each dinosaur. But look at it, ain't it beautiful? Well, that's the new one we just produced, the Crimson uh, Frill Triceratops. We'll, we'll just produce a, a lot of more dinosaurs for the moment. Let's get a Copperback Triceratops. We'll get a female. There's a bit of sexual dimorphism in this game as well. As when I just produced that Triceratops, it was smaller than the male one. The male Gallimimus is taller, bigger than the female one. I'm going for some bristle licked. Let's just play around and get quite a few, I think. Righty ho. Let's select all, play selected. We've got some, and that now another little troop of Gallimimuses and this other female Triceratops. Which is beautiful. Although she's morphing into the Gallimimus, but besides that. Right, in this version of the game at the moment, because it is only a demo, you only have really one map to play on and it's randomly generated, but you sort of get this sort of basic like layout of a like grass bit grassy like island. You can produce different fences from wood, stone and metal, when glass and miscellaneous uh, fences will become available. This is your nursery building at the moment. You've got different feeding stations. Two for her 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 herbivorous dinosaurs, one for carnivores, and you get a water trough as well. And there's other little icons here which will become available. Such as enrichment, which is always very important with animals. You can put shelters down for your animals as well, and actually I might just do that in this building. In this little enclosure. If I can find a room to place a shelter, which I can't at the moment, what shelters do we get? We'll put one on, maybe the Gallimimus must we'll go and sit in there. We don't. We'll see. We do get shelters. But importantly on this game also, you get utilities. And buildings require water and power to function. For example, if I just come out of this and click on this building. It says over here, Animal Nurseries 2, electric consumption this month. 
like 3,150 kilowatts water consumption this month, 2,100 litres. You do have to build actual utility buildings, which I've got a few, if I zoom out of this, because I'm currently highlight selected on this, which are in the form of your little light generators you can build. And I'll just pop down and have one and show you it. So you get generators such as them, like windmills, and I'm assuming there'll be a load more. You get water facilities, such as these you do. And I'm going to place a few more of these down. So you get water pumps and wind turbines, harnessing the wind for you at the moment. Let's have a look at the other dinosaurs we've got though. But before that, you do get some options in like paving and like there are paths you can put down. And you can place down rocks and some lamps. And we'll just put down, I don't know, I'll just off it on this side. Get a few lamps. Oh, that's from tight this. There's some nice little lamps there. Yeah, you can place some rocks down, you can get a few different rock selections. And you also get, if I was to actually go in settings, I'll show you the options menu. You can look at, you've got a quite a good array of graphics options. You've got sound, and you've got your gameplay. I'm actually going to turn the music up a little bit. And you've got quite a good select variety of camera options, and you can even muck around with the user interface skin as well. Right, let's show you what else have we got. Hide the whole inner base. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yes, you can pause the game as well. But let's show you some of the T Rexes, I think. Hello, Mr. Tyrannosaurus. This game is beautiful. It's one of the best dinosaur games I've seen so far. And this is only a demo, and I'm very impressed. I'll show you this other T Rex we have. This is the scale T Rex. Uh, mm, hmm. Let's just move you out of that little block hole that's randomly there. Yeah, they are absolutely beautiful models on this. I'm actually just going to get another Tyrannosaur. Let's just show you the just op options that are available. We'll go for a ginger Tyrannosaur. There's no difference in the actual size on these ones. Like the amount of options just in being able to play some like name your dinosaurs as well is great. We've got another Tyrannosaur to show off. They're having a little sit down. Oh, that's so cute! Oh! Sitting down. Alright, that wasn't so cute. Slowly scrolls away. Right in here, when I find them. We have those raptors, those raptor mongolellis, or mongolinigus. My Latin is a bit rusty, but look at them. These are like really, really realistic those raptors, and they are feathered and they're the right size as well. I have a few of these here. Let's just see what other raptors we can find. A monster enclosure is another. Those raptor too. Really, I should actually name them in the future. Yeah, but I thought I was going to produce some Velociraptors. We'll go on. Sonorosaurus eye. And there's no scaly option yet, but I'm sure there will be a scaly option. We'll go for some Ash and Brindle Velociraptors, and we'll just get a little femur. We should place them down here. And there you go. No Ash and female Velociraptor. Good chilling. So we have quite a good selection of dinosaurs. Oh, there is an update coming out for this very, very soon, which will add more dinosaurs into the game, I'm sure of it. There's a vehicle station here where we shall have a go at driving this car. Is it W, are you just... Oh, okay, how do you drive the cars? Oh, oh! Oh, this is quite fun.
All right, so you do get a driving now. The ability to drive little cars, and you can also I just wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me go out that a minute. So I'm not going to be driving that around. I'm sure there's an option in this too. Oh, you can even do the roof and doors. Look, I didn't even realise that myself. And you can change the colours. I knew you could change the colours. And it's even changed my car now. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Bit weird it just driving itself, but we'll just pretend it's automated. Oh shit. Did not mean to do that. Alright, if I just lob you back in the grid station, let's just put it back. Okay, dog, that didn't that, that, that work. Let's just come out of this a minute. Oh, you can just repair it. Right, well that's the vehicle depots anyway. We've got 20 dinosaurs in it here at the moment. We've got three Tyrannosaurs. I think I'm missing one different type of Tyrannosaur, so I'm going to try and go for the, the right skin. I'm going to go for a black beard. Oh, male or female look different, that's cool. Let's just go get a male one. I should place this one down as well. Oh, well look at him, it's, it's a beautiful game. Right, so that's Prehistoric Kingdom, ladies and gents. I'll hopefully, we'll be playing the update of this demo. And I apologise for like loading into like a pre-May park, which I was making like in my spare time. It was just the fact that I didn't want to risk like recording it in advance because I had a few troubles with it crashing. But I think that was more my computer rather than the game itself. Oh, he's even having a drinky drinks. Happy Tyrannosaur. Let's just have, have a quick look at the what the other dinosaurs are getting up to before we leave. Oh, look at this. This game is... I could just sit here and watch them for so long. Beautiful. Lovely little Gallimimus. And Triceratops. So much variation of what you're going to be able to do on this game when it comes out. It's going to be amazing. But right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. This is Prehistoric Kingdom, and we shall see it soon, hopefully. And I will see you all next time, ladies and gents. Goodbye for now.